What's going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Bitcoin has broken above $16,000 on several occasions in the past 24 hours. We said we were looking for a major move to the upside. We did in fact break out of this ascending triangle. Is that it? Are we looking for a correction or do the bulls still have more to go? Well, I'll tell you the bears are certainly in disbelief as Bitcoin price breaks above $16,000 for the first time in three years. And not only that, but we've actually put the highest daily candle in as of 2020. Do we still have enough steam to keep pumping? Bitcoin has been pumping for four and a half weeks so far. We are up over 50% in just that time. So the question is, my friends, is are we just getting started? Are we about to have a major blast off to the next significant levels of 17K, 18K? Or are we finally do for a correction. Well, I want to show you why this rally is extremely different than the last time that Bitcoin actually got up to these levels. And I want to explain why we may not have even had the top just yet. We're going to go into that today. I also want to talk about the fact that the world's second largest bank is actually looking to offer about $3 billion worth of bonds, which are, get this, tradable for Bitcoin. So if that sounds good to you, today's going to uh, be a little bit quicker of a video. I actually wasn't sure if I could get a video out today, but considering we did just break $16,000, dollars figured why not might as well talk so if that sounds good to you definitely get subscribed join the free telegram group check out the links below and super quick let's hop into the chart so we did in fact break out of this triangle currently now the resistance has acted as support you guys know how i feel about this this is definitely bullish um you know like i said we did have the highest daily close he says above 15K for the first time for the third day in a row. This is the first time in history that Bitcoin has held this price level for 72 hours. This is a new record for Bitcoin, but... But let's be realistic here. We did, in fact, hit some resistance around the critical level of the basically not the very few resistances we had during the blow off top. But the main one was right around the $16,178 level. And currently, that is the level that we need to get above and hold above on the weekly right here. You can see currently we have not been able to break above it just yet. In fact, we wicked to it perfectly we're sitting just under it, but we haven't been able to break through just yet. So if we're unable to break through, then yes, the bulls will run out of steam and we could potentially see Bitcoin come down to retest the top of this previous resistance, which could bring us down into the $13,000 level. But having a look at the futures, the futures level is slightly higher. Futures trade for a premium, but their most important resistance of all time ever for CME futures is the $16,595 level. And we are only 400 and something dollars away from that level. If we break above this level, we close above this level, I would imagine that we would begin a parabolic move for Bitcoin. And you could see $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 moves in a day for Bitcoin. Things could get crazy, but What's the difference between this time and the last time that Bitcoin pumped this much? Well, number one, it's extremely organic, right? First of all, if you just simply have a look, you do have these low formations, right? So we do have higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is good, but it is organic. It is being led by real demand. According to data from DataMesh, less than 14 million worth of short liquidations in total were recorded on BitMEX and Bitfinex after the rally. In previous cycles, for example, the price of Bitcoin would have major liquidations of over 100 million 
million dollars or above in either directions for shorts or longs. The data shows that it was not an abrupt short squeeze that caused the price of Bitcoin to increase substantially. Instead, there is a high probability that this rally has been a spot driven, extremely organic rally for Bitcoin. This is actually a healthy market, a healthy uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. We haven't even seen blow off tops or crazy wicks. The biggest wick we saw was during the fear of the pandemic. Everything else has been a nice, natural, slow, organic grind upwards. The confluence of low liquidations across futures exchanges and spot driven rally make this seem or at least appear to be a more sustainable rally for Bitcoin. In fact, Byzantine General points out there have been a lot of bubbles around 500,000 Bitcoin being accumulated by some big whales and they have been buying in mass every opportunity that they can get. Now, should we be getting overly bullish? Look, I've talked about the possibility of a massive, uh, you know, correction. When will it happen? Well, I don't really know, to be honest with you guys. The, uh, Bitcoin's definitely been taking off pretty crazy lately. We, we could go a lot higher. We could go to the $17,000 level. But, you know, uh, as Chase says, as Euphoria sweeps, you know, the, the crypto verse and we do have the potential second wave of the pandemic sweeping the world. Will Fed intervention keep everything afloat? Probably. But pandemic plus weekly resistance equals reduce for me. Now, he's not saying that, you know, he's selling everything, but he is taking some profits. And also you should take profits. Look, if you're up and, and, and you've made some money, sure, you know, put some aside, have some you know, dry powder for, you know, a rainy day or for, you know, a potential dip. Now, you know, you could look at this and say, hey, you know, maybe this is starting to look more like an ascending wedge, right? Uh, and if that's the case, ascending wedges get smaller and smaller and they do eventually break to the downside. So are we looking to retest this support level uh, down here? That could be a possibility. It could be an ascending broadening wedge. You know, we, we, we may potentially just be, you know, squeezing ourselves and then having that drop. That is a possibility. However, we are so on track for this stock to flow. And so many people have come out and criticized Plan B and said the stock to flow model, it's it's flawed. There's no way that Bitcoin's hitting $100,000 to $288,000 next year. However, if you have a look, we are doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. The red dots are curving up exactly as they have in the past. And we know what happens in a few months from now. We are looking to the beginnings of that massive parabolic moonshot and it could be even closer than you think if we do have this demand that's coming in from all these billionaires and Wall Street Wall Street veterans and plus the fact that we don't even have enough supply to meet the demand for all of the Bitcoin, right? And also just pointing out the whale clusters where we did have a lot of the whale accumulations, we have seen it act as support, specifically these levels, uh, notably the $14,900 level where we saw a lot of accumulation acted as support recently when Bitcoin had its little, you know, little flash dip that it took the other day. So this is just showing me that the fundamentals are there. And just to end on what Bob Lucas says, he says, climbing wall of worry, sustained rallies that push expected cycle tops out, Bears caught offside in disbelief, standard bull behavior, folks praying for a pullback that never seems to come. Exuberance comes over $200,000 for Bitcoin, but not before likely one more correction. So there still is that possibility of one more correction, one 30% pullback, but I would say at this point in time, that that would, in my opinion, be the final dip. And I'm waiting for it. I'm anticipating it. I cannot wait for Bitcoin to take that final dip, have that bounce, show the resistance becoming support, and then we can head onto the road to 20K and above. And just to end on, a, on an interesting story, we have the world's second biggest bank looking to issue three billion in bonds. Now, interestingly enough, this is the China Construction Bank, right? We never thought we'd hear something, uh, you know, China related uh, being positive for Bitcoin. So apparently they've tapped Hong Kong based digital asset exchange Fusang for the issuance of $3 billion worth of debt securities over a blockchain. Tokenized bond certificates will be issued through the state owned banks. Uh, 
Labuan, Malaysia branch, I probably pronounced that wrong, over a period of three months. Notably, the digital securities will be exchangeable for Bitcoin on the Fusang exchange as well as the US dollars trading is slated to commence this Friday. But that being said, my friends, we are in the midst of a massive, massive shift, the bull run of a lifetime. And if you are here and you're watching today, who cares if Bitcoin takes a 30% dip? The trend is your friend until the end. The macro has has been putting in higher highs and higher lows, and you and I both know where this is going. So ignore the noise, ignore what's going on in the world. Yes, there will be some effects, the election debacle, the potential miscounting of ballots and everybody having a civil war 2.0, the world falling apart, hyperinflation, everything you can name, the pandemic, nothing is going to stop Bitcoin at the end of the day. And I hope you got your moon boots strapped on. So happy trading. Be safe. Watch this guy. He's going nuts. And that being said, my name's K-Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, my friends, stay crypto. And of course, peace out.